If I'd stayed in prison, they'd have taken him from me. He'd not be alive. Maybe this is God's way of saying I'm not fit to be a mother yet. Carrying on like I do. Cursing and drinking and fighting. You are a fighter, I. In prison, I heard stories of the infamous Anne Bonny and Mary Reed taking on the King's Navy together. Just a pair of you. It's all true. Anne would have won that day if Jack and his lads were and passed out in the hold from drink. Everyone's gone, aren't they? Mary, Raccoon, Touch, all the rest. I miss them so, rough as they were. Do you feel that too? All empty inside, like? I do. Devil curse me. I do. I know my targets by sight well enough, but how will I find them? We have spies and informants in every city. Visit our viewers and the assassins there. How does it feel to bark? Captain Kenway. You have something for me? The present whereabouts of the Templar Woods Rogers. He is attending a small political function, so do it clean. The word is King George is calling Rogers back to London. Aye, not happy with his progress in Nassau. Still too many pirates roaming about from what I hear. <laughs> You'll need a disguise to fool the powderheads at this party. I suggest the visiting diplomat, Ruggiero Ferraro. He's been on our list for some time. And...
are all idiots. How do English believe you can subdue the world is beyond me. Salve. Forgive the lateness of my arrival. I am Ruggerio Ferraro. Hi, Mr. Ferraro. Not a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, a toast to my brief tenure as Governor of the Bahamas. Oh, under my watch, no less than 300 of our pirates took the King's pardon and swore guilty to the crown. And yet, for all my successes, His Majesty has seen fit to sack me. And call me home to England. Brilliant! God bless the fucker! Pride of the sea. Therefore, hooray! Hooray for the ignoble and ignorant prigs who rule the world with sticks up their asses! Hooray! It can't be the minds of evil men, except that it must be for profit or politics. They certainly don't have our best interests at all. What can I help you with? That's and how is Mrs. Rogers these days? I haven't the faintest idea, and I don't intend to inquire any further. We separated almost five years ago, and both our lives have been the better for it. Forgive my curiosity, Governor. Perhaps I'll be more candid later, when the remainder of my reason has left. He was a privateer once. How is it you lack so much respect for sailors only trying to make their way in this world? You couldn't possibly understand my motives, cretin! You have spent a whole lifetime dismantling everything that makes our civilization shine. But I do understand. I've seen the observatory, and I know its power. You'd use that device to spy and blackmail and sabotage. Yes. And yet all for a greater purpose. To ensure justice. To snuff out lies and to seek truth. There's no man on earth who needs that power. Yet you suffer the outlaw Roberts to use it. No. I'm taking it back. And if you tell me where he is, I'll stop the man. Here, at the edge of a blade, I find a friend in you at last. Principe, you mad bastard. Our best sources say Principe.
It's done. Where now? Grab your kit and pack well. We're sailing for Africa. 